up ladies and gentlemen It's your boy Kid League with two D's and two E's And we'll come back to another video on Need for Speed eh? Sauce Gang, what's the deal? It's your boy Kid League man and y'all already know what it is man So many people have been asking me bro This question right here How did you become number one in Michigan? In karate and like What's my story behind it all bro? So y'all already know Y'all want it? I'm going to give it to y'all, man. So, I'm going to start from the beginning, bro. This is how it all started, bro. From step one, karate stage, white belt, bro. This is how it started. So, I was like, I think I was, I was either 10 or 11, bro. And what happened was, I was, I think I was 11. I think I was 11, bro. So, you know what I'm saying? When I first started uh, the karate school, all right, let me start off. So, the karate school I go to is Metro United Karate, right? So y'all look it up, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I've been doing karate for six and a half years, okay? So, when I first started, I remember going in there, it was me, my stepbrothers and my stepdad man. I remember going there and I was shy as ever. And I remember meeting the man, his name was Mr. Allison, blah blah blah, all this crazy stuff. It meeting him and everything. So I was just like, you know, it was just like a lot. I'm just thinking like, whoa, 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 dang, this really happening, you feel me? Because all I want to do is fight, you know what I'm saying? Cause that's what I'm best at, you know what I'm saying? Not trying to rap, but yeah, that's what I'm best at is the fighting. So that's what I always wanted to do, bro. You feel me? So as as time went by, I started getting better and better. You feel me? And I didn't do no tournaments. Now tournaments, if y'all don't know, tournaments is when you fight other people from other schools. And you know what I'm saying? It's like say for instance, I fight say for instance, like five people in the division. Everybody gonna fight. But not everybody, because if you lose, you drop, you done. You feel me? So if it's five, that person who lose first gets kicked. And then it's going to be these two fighting and these two fight. If these two people fight, and let's say Pinky lose, he go down. And then it's going to be these two fight, fights. And whichever one of these guys lose, fight Pinky. And then they got to fight for third and fourth. And then these two fight for first and second. So as y'all get that. So... That's how the tournament is. Like, they be huge sometimes, you feel me? Especially the national tournaments. But we gonna get to that later. So, I didn't know none about tournaments, you feel me? I didn't know none about nothing. I didn't, this is before I knew MMA. This is before I didn't know anything. So, um, so yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm going up, moving up in the ranks and stuff, you feel me? From white to gold. So second degree gold to purple, second degree purple, blue, second degree blue, then it's um green, then second degree green, and then blah, and blah, and blah. Well, I think green is before blue. I think I think green is before blue. Man, I ain't been in them bills so long. So so yeah, so um so yeah, uh damn, I'm I'm thinking so much, like I can't even talk. But uh yeah, so Going through all those stages, man, you know what I'm saying? All it would all it took was like hard work and dedication for it. You feel me? Like all I had to do was like keep going to practice, keep practicing, work hard and like not stop. You feel me? Cause like if y'all know me when I was like 10, 11, I was skinny. Like my arms was literally about this size, bro. Literally. You feel me? Like I was so small, it was crazy. And uh over time, I started building, you know what I'm saying, building muscle and, you know, but you really can't tell because you see I'm still skinny and stuff, you feel me? But, like, I, I refer myself to Bruce Lee because, you know what I'm saying, he was just like me, body shape and everything. And the way we fight is so identical. I'm not saying I fight like I'm like him, but I'm, I'm marking my way up to be like him, you feel me? But anyways, so, um, so yeah. Uh, after you know what I'm saying, building everything, building muscle, man. After gaining a lot of, gaining a lot of, like, 
after gaining a lot of um, friends and connections in karate, I started to, you know what I'm saying, expand. Like, my first tournament, you know what I'm saying, I dominated. You feel me? And if y'all want to see my first tournament, it is on my page. You can see it. Or you just look up uh, Elliot Ness and you will see my first fight. I will have all white on, man. But if you don't feel like doing all that, I got fights in my channel. Just scroll all the way down and you will see them. But, um, yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? I started my first fight. Then I went to my second fight. My third fight. My fourth fight. My fifth fight. Sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourth, fifth. The list go on and on and on. And it's like, it felt like it was getting easier and easier to me. As other people looked at it. As it was getting harder and harder. And, uh, um, you feel me? I didn't really, I didn't really, like, see competition. And I didn't really see competition in what I was going up against. You feel me? I didn't, I didn't, I really didn't see competition. And it was like, this is getting easy to me. You feel me? So, what happened was, I was I started fighting all these fights. Now imagine when I say I'm like let's say I say I'm like first one fight, two fight, three fight, four fight. When I say that in each one of those fights I fought about four people. Okay, some might be four, some might be three, some might be two. So I fought over twenty people. You feel me? So um yeah, so as the ranks get up, you know what I'm saying, I'm starting to be 7 and 0, then 10 and 0, then 20 and 0, then 23 and 0. You feel me? So, as the list going on, I finally have fought for my first national championship. Um, this was my first national championship. That was, um, what was it? It was 2014. And, you feel me? I won this belt right here. 2014, I won this belt. And, uh, you feel me? When I won this, man, it was it was crazy. You feel me? And for y'all who don't know, 2014, I went to the Olympics and stuff, and I fought in the Olympics. You feel me? And kickboxing, and I, you already know I won. You feel me? Hard fight, but you already know I won. And uh, that was my first time ever winning a belt, and like so many people was like so happy, like oh my God, Malik, this and this. It was it was crazy, bro, cause. I didn't even think I could do it myself, you know what I'm saying? And for me to be able to do it, it it, it was it was exciting. And uh, 2015, um, I won my second national championship belt. That's when I won this one right here. Now the thing about these belts is they're identical. Only thing they change on these belts are these things here. The tax. Different words, different sayings, different years. Now, 2016 is when I won this national championship belt right here. Virtual Problem Championship right here, man. And you feel me? Wait, this one was 215. Okay, so this is the one that I won. Hold on, let me see. This is 214. Okay, yeah. My dates is wrong, bro. I don't know how I ain't see that. So, yeah, this is the one I had won in 2015 and stuff. So, um, uh, yeah, I won them, you know what I'm saying, three years in a row. Back to back to back, 2013, 2014, and 2015. And in 2016, uh, is when I just started, you know what I'm saying? I started to become a teacher. And, well, I was a teacher, like, you know what I'm saying, going through, but this is when I started becoming a fluent teacher and teaching kids fluently, like, on an everyday basis. So, um, so yeah, so, like, that's when I started teaching kids on an everyday basis, man, you know what I'm saying, and after that, I started, you know what I'm saying, I started, uh, 
I started uh, teaching grown women, you know what I'm saying? I started doing like uh, workout classes and I still do that to this day, but I started doing workout classes or whatever, you feel me? And when I started doing those workout classes, uh, I just built off that, you know what I'm saying? I was, I'm so toned and, you know what I'm saying, and everything, I built connections with the women and it, it'd be women coming into credit school a good 400 pounds. You know what I'm saying? Good 400 pounds. And I literally would work them so hard, they became, what, 200, then 100, and stuff they never thought they would ever be. You know what I'm saying? So I, I'm, I've uh, changed a lot of people's uh, lives and their weights uh, as far as that goes. But, um, uh, so moving, let me let me tell y'all about the sponsorships, man. It's not easy to get a sponsorship. I'm gonna tell you that now. You have to be the best of one of the best of one of the best of one of the best. Bro. I am sponsored by the team I have on right now. Right here, as y'all can see, this is the shirt. This is the uniform. Revolution right here. The pants. Revolution. So I got sponsored by them. Uh I think it was last year. So when y'all watch this video, no matter when y'all watch it, last year and when I posted this is when I got that sponsorship. I got the sponsorship and I started traveling everywhere. You name it, I've been there. Literally. You name it, I've been there. And matter of fact, I think this was two years ago. Because this 2018. Because I got there in 2015. Okay, so it was two years ago. My bad, two years ago. So, because you know it's 2018, so you got to You know what I'm saying? But anyways, um, that's when I first got my uh, sponsorship. My first sponsorship was Spring Water. If anybody know what that is. Uh, you know, the water company, whatever. I had spent water and then I moved to uh, Team Revolution. And ever since then, you know what I'm saying, I became just dominant. And everybody wanted me and everybody wanted to uh, fight with me. Because all you got to do is, man, is stay, stick with it, hard work, win in your tournaments, you feel me, dominate, have a good personality, and, and you will be straight Bible, bro. You're like, you're going to be amazing, bro. You feel me? And everybody be asking, like, what kind of gear y'all you this and this? So I'm about to show y'all the gear right now. When you're doing kickboxing, this is like the head gear school. These are just some of them, like cotton. You feel me? Just like cotton, you know what I'm saying? Just cotton, you feel me? You put it on, let's see. Put it on like that. You know what I'm saying? The head gear. These are the feet gear you put on. Like, they got a whole bunch of different ones and a whole bunch of different ones the way they look, you know what I'm saying, different styles. But these are just the ones I have, see? And then, the hand gloves. These are the hand gloves, right here. As you see, they all got the little thing on them. <sighs> they all got the thing on them. That's my team. Metro United Karate. Feel me, the gloves. Hey, girl. Damn, I just got my stick inside the head. But, uh, yeah. So, that's the gear we use and stuff. So, bro, really, all y'all gotta do, man, is just, just grind, bro. I didn't even show y'all my ring, and I'm not gonna show y'all my ring. You feel me? Because, honestly, three championships should be enough for you to get you started, bro. You feel me? For all my friends who really know me, I've wore the ring in school when I won it, came home, and it was one of the toughest fights of my life, but I came home with a National State ring. And, uh, damn, I really want to show y'all it, but I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it. If you got me on Snapchat, you've seen it before. If you got me on Instagram, you've seen it before. And if you in my life, you've seen it before, you feel me? But that's besides the point, bro. Um, you know what I'm saying? Really, you all you gotta do is grind. If you can grind, you will make it anywhere, bro. You feel me? All I have to do is grind, push myself to the limits, and just be able to, you feel me? Just be able to 
cycle through everything, bro. Literally. Just be able to attack what's ever in front of me. I was willing to move everything out of the way. You know what I'm saying? It's all about you being dominant, bro. All right? So, make sure if y'all got any other questions, bro, just hit me down in the comment section, man. That was my little story on how I was number one in Michigan. If y'all got anything else, just let me know. Because you already know I'm going to tell you about it, bro. And I know y'all hear that beat playing. This shit is hard. But anyways, though, you feel me? Uh, That's really it, bro. It's, it, all I did was grind. You feel me? Whoop ass and grind. Watch this. I told you. Should've never doubted me. I'ma work to my last breath. I'ma hustle to my last breath. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, you should've never doubted me.